All right, welcome back to another Angular video in this series. I've called it Relearning Angular because it's something I've done in the past. I even have a whole tutorial on here when we go through the Tour of Heroes tutorial. And uh, it's something I've just forgotten a lot of the things in Angular, and I thought it would be fun to relearn it. And whether you're new to Angular or you're like me and wanting to relearn it or just looking up certain pieces of Angular, hopefully you learned something from this series. And if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. You guys have been killing it. I really do appreciate it. And today we're going to talk a little bit about forms. We're going to start the forms. It's going to be multi-videos. Uh, but today, specifically, we're looking at the ng model directive in Angular, which allows us to have two-way data binding. So we can have something displayed in our HTML and our component uh, template, and then also link it to something in our TypeScript class. And I think uh, the example I'll show you will hopefully, you know, click in your brain. And yeah, let's get into it. 187 videos on this channel. That's amazing. Um, I never thought it, I made that money, but here we are. Uh, so what is the ng model directive? I found this on this random website, appdividend.com. Weird. Um, but they say the ng model directive binds the value of HTML controls. So, so stuff you would find in the form, like the input tag, the select, or the text area. And it binds it to the value that you can find in the application data. I thought this sentence alone explained it. Um, so that's all I'm going to take away from the site. So let's look at our app. Very ugly. I need to clean this up. We, you know, we have bootstrap now. We should be able to make it look a little prettier. And here I am making crap like this. So let's look at the HTML. First off, I'm going to have a break right here from this input because it's just annoying how it's on the same line. What I want to do is I want to have the value here that I type in. So let's say I say ASDF. I want that to also go to a property in our TypeScript class um, of that component. So let's go and look at the TypeScript. And I'm going to, and it looks like I already did. I went ahead of myself. I created this property called input title. It's of type string. And right off the bat, I just make it an empty string. OK? So now I want to link whatever is in this input to that property, input title. Let's copy that so I have it. And so the syntax for ng model looks like this. We have open and square braces and then open and close parentheses. And inside we put ng capital N or M, I mean model, and that's going to be equal to input title, that property that we created. And this is already complaining type event is not assignable to type string. Yeah, it doesn't really know what this ng model is. Our app has no idea what ng model is. And that's because we didn't import it into our project, our Angular project. So if we go to uh, our app module TypeScript, this is where we can import a bunch of different, you know, Angular modules to give us different functionality. And the imports array, I'm just going to put a comma and then the forms module. And notice when I do that, I let it autocomplete. I put that here, and then it also imported it at the top. It says from Angular forms, let's import that forms module. And now it's going to rebuild everything. And now notice it's compiled successfully. It knows um, what that ng model is now. So uh, that's fine and dandy. But how do we know when I type this that all of a sudden input title is going to be equal to that value that I just typed in? How do we know that's bound to it? So what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to put a paragraph down here. And I guess we'll put it below the input. Let's just put a paragraph and let's have the value be the string interpolation of input title. So it's going to display the input title down here. So let's see what that looks like. And we'll put ASDF and notice as I'm typing, the value of that paragraph is the exact thing that I'm typing like that. Okay. And I want to do one more thing. I want when we click me, I want that event to also add a value to that input title. So let's go back to the component. Another part of this method, it's going to say this dot input title. So this input title property is going to be equal to testing from the component class. That's a long sentence, I guess, but 
Um, oh well. So now if I click on that button, it's going to set this input title value to this, right? And we should see it in uh, our HTML. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to click this button. I don't even have to click it. I guess we, <laughs> I guess we left it at hover, didn't we? Mouse enter. Okay. So let's change it to click instead of mouse enter. So now if I click on this, watch what it'll do. It'll um, make input title the sentence, and then now these are both bound to that value. So that's why they're showing here, right? This is using string interpolation, and this is using that ng model. And if I change it, of course, it's going to go back to displaying it down here. So in the next video, I want to make a form. Uh, maybe we'll make a contact form, and we'll add to either the about page or we'll just make a new route for contact us. Let's say our website's uh, allowing people to contact us with suggestions or questions or maybe a business inquiry because they want to do a partnership with us. Wink, wink. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not big enough to have any of those. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Hopefully this makes sense. Play around with it. NG model. Pretty neat. Allows two-way data binding with the TypeScript class. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video when we do forms and see you then.